jokes welcome to a brand new video and I'm really hoping you like my new sound because I'm finally using a different microphone so I sound like a little bit more normal I guess I'm less screaming because everybody was saying like why are you screaming so much but I just talk really loud and I talk apparently really annoying but I hope that with my new microphone it's a little bit more normal um, so in my previous video you could still hear some things that weren't correct because uh, my mic was in the wrong position but now it is so I really really hope that it gets better and today I have a new tutorial for you guys because I uploaded a picture on my Instagram and on my blog uh, with uh, a tutorial for the Bor Milano and it was a picture tutorial and you guys ask like could you please do a video tutorial so of course today I was having a lazy day and just planning my vacation to Spain and then I thought you know why not let's do a video tutorial as well so I made that one for you guys so let's take a look first I'm going to make a white base so I'm applying two layers and I'm going to let it dry before going on with the next step now I'm using gel effect number 46 and my dotting tool to make the first few drops. The next color is number 50. Now I'm using my nail art brush to connect the drips together. I've applied some polish on a piece of paper. Just dip the brush in and start applying it at the beginning of my nail. Both colors need two coats to be fully opaque, so when the first layer is dry, I'm applying a second one. Of course, I clean my nail art brush first before I'm using the other color. I'm also going to add some tiny drops, or maybe you call them splatters, I'm not sure, but they look really cool. If you're not sure about the size, always start small. It's better to start small and to make something bigger than to make something too big and not having an eraser to make it small again. This is the last one that I'm going to make and then I'm going to start doing cleanup. It's time for cleanup right now so my colors have some time to dry. I'm using acetone and my eyeliner brush. The last step is to add the white. Don't use too much, use a teeny tiny bit. Now I'm using the Deborah Milano Matte Effect Top Coat. It needs a little bit of time to dry and then it turns completely matte. Let me know what you think of the result and I will put all the colors that I'm wearing on my nails in the comment box down below. So I really really like how these colors turned out, they look so cool together and I really like the matte effect. So let me know what you think and of course keep requesting videos, I will try to do as many as I can. And of course please follow me on here on YouTube but also on my Facebook, Twitter and on Instagram. I really hope to see you there and in my next video. Bye bye!